What's up guys, Joel Snow right here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 9.2 to iOS 9.3.4 on 32-bit devices, which means iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, 5C, and a couple of iPads. Oh, and also the iPod Touch, fifth generation. I also made a video exactly on this topic, but on a Mac. You can see it right here with this iOS 9.3.4. Even though it says 9.3.4, it works from 9.2 to 9.3.4. Unfortunately, no 9.3.5, and I'm, I'm going to explain later. And um, this was for the Mac, and of course, there were the Windows users that tried to um, tell me that they cannot follow the instructions because they do have a Windows. Well, I'm going to show you quickly how to do it, but let me explain you a couple of things. Now, this jailbreak in here is called Home Depot, and as you can see, it works for iOS 9.2 to 9.3.4 only on 32-bit devices. 64-bit devices have a jailbreak with Yalu for uh, iOS 10.2, 10.1.1, 10.0, .1, and so on. Unfortunately, I do not think there will be a jailbreak for iOS 10 on 32-bit devices, at least not for the moment, because developers are not interested for the moment in 32-bit devices. And uh, it's unfortunate that this interest starts to fade even more as the time goes. But for 9.3.4 and most likely for 9.3.5 soon, you will be able to do it. And you can do it already on 9.3.4 and lower with Home Depot. You can download it and you install it pretty simple with CD Impactor. And here, pause for a second and watch. Here are the compatible devices and the operating systems that are supported. See, iPhone 4S which is one of the iconic 32-bit devices, supports from iOS 9.2.1 to 9.3.4. iPhone 5 GSM only supports iOS 9.3.4. So pay attention, the iPhone 5 Global supports from 9.1 to 9.3.3. So uh, depending on what device you have, you might need to add offsets. How you do that? Well, it's pretty simple. They do have support more devices in here and they explain you if you're a little bit technical. If you don't, you can go ahead right here on my channel on the playlists. I have a playlist for reverse engineering to get you started on iOS hacking. And you can find custom offsets for your device and add them. They look like this. For example, there are 13 in total. And you can make support for your own operating system, not on iOS 9.3.5. Uh, only on 9.1 to 9.3.4, but if it's not supported from default, you can add the offsets, you can find them manually and add them, and it will be supported. And then, what I wanted to, to tell you is about the iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak, pretty quickly. Uh, one guy right here, Max Basile, part of the Apple Fried team, we discussed about them, uh, finally managed to fully pwn the iOS 9.3.5 with uh, KPP bypass or kernel patch protection bypass, which means that an iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak might be around the corner. So hold up, do not update if you're on 9.3.5 to any 10 firmware. Let's go ahead and jailbreak. Unfortunately, my iPhone 5 that I have in here, the only iPhone 5 that I have is running 10.2. Three. Unfortunately, I will not be able to fully jailbreak it, but I'm going to show you how to deploy and use the application. And from that point, it's as simple as a restart. So um, it's the same procedure as on a Mac. I don't know why people keep on asking me to make video on Windows as well, but here it is. You need to download CDI Impactor from cdiimpactor.com. Then when it opens, you need to go here to Impactor and check for updates. It's a good practice to check for updates because Soric from times to times pushes new updates that might help with various things. So um, as you can see, it checks for updates. Hopefully it won't take the whole day. And apparently I am up to date. Uh, Impactor is currently the newest version. You will see that you have the device connected in here. If you disconnect it, it will disappear. If you connect it again, it will show up again. If it doesn't show up, you need to reinstall uh, iTunes or to update it or both of them. And uh, do not click start. Some of you told me that uh, you get this error. This feature requires an Android device. Yes, this is because you press start on this install super sue which is for android for ios deploying you need to simply drag the uh, jailbreak application into here and connect with your apple id and password you use to get normally applications then you need to click ok and it will start uh, trying to log in list teams list devices it will probably give you a warning or not 
Yes, in my case it does, but in your case it might not. Make sure you do not have a passcode, or if, you, if it does, your device does have a passcode, make sure it's unlocked, and it will try to deploy the application. We'll assign it, of course, and you will have to trust it on your device before you can open it. You go to settings, general, scroll down to profile or device management, and trust your email address. Alrighty, the uh, signing process might take a couple of seconds or minutes because the application is fairly big and the communication with the server is actually um, a little bit harder, but it will work. It's extracting the package, verifying, generating application map. For some reason, uh, CD Impactor works pretty slowly today for my computer. Uh, usually it, it simply flashes those writings on the screen, it won't take that much, but the application I see on the device was deployed, it's called Home Depot, and it uh, somehow resembles the uh, Donald Trump's uh, wall as an icon for some reason, and I'm going to show you how to use it. So uh, yeah, I'm waiting for CDI Impactor to finish generating the application map, even though the app was deployed. Ah, well done. Now we can switch to the device. So uh, as you can see, I'm back on the device. As I say, this iPhone 5 is running iOS 10.3, so I will not be able to jailbreak it, but I'm going to show you how to use the app. When you deploy it, it looks like this, Home Depot with that wall behind uh, the uh, mountainside. And when you open it, it says Home Depot in bold and black. And it says your iPhone 5.2, in my case, is not jailbroken. You have two options, the mixtape player, which uh, download the mixtape, and prepare for jailbreak, that if you click, it will show you this. Please read the um, terms and conditions before proceeding. I already did that, so I'm going to click accept. And uh, it will tell you again about the free copy of the mixtape available, the YOLO rhymes supply and demand, but you need to click here, proceed with jailbreak. Let me, okay. And it will say install Cydia and begin installation. In my case, it's not compatible. So if I click, it will tell me device not supported, offset not found for iPhone 5.2 running 10.3. And you, you can specify custom offsets. Now, if your device, for example, is on iOS 9.2, 9.3.1 and so on, and it's not supported, you can uh, try to find your offsets manually and add them in here. For me, it is, there's no way I should do that because it's the iOS 10 and the exploit, which is Trident, isn't compatible anyways. So um, I'm going to simply close that. But for you, it will work and it will reboot the uh, device and you will be jailbroken. This will install CDR, so keep that in mind. And you will also be able to use it as a full-fledged jailbreak with CDR and with tweaks and with whatever you want to use it. But pay attention to what you install because some tweaks might be incompatible and um, you might end up with restoring the device. So yeah, you will lose the jailbreak. So be sure not to install tweaks that are not recommended. And um, this is some kind of warning for both iOS 10.2 jailbreak on the 64-bit um, devices and also for 32-bit devices. Do not install AppSync. AppSync is actually not supported not by Yalu and not by this uh, jailbreak, Home Depot, and you will most likely uh, fuck up your device and it will require restore. So some of the uh, users installed that and got problems. So make, make sure you do not do that, all right? And not only that, any other tweak that is on unrecommended lists. You can Google them or go to Reddit jailbreak and find them. So this is basically it, guys. I'm Joe Snow. Till the next time, do not forget to stay updated by subscribing if you have yet to. It's free and it's easy and you will stay updated on whatever changes on the jailbreak community. And I'm going to keep you updated when a 9.3.5 jailbreak drops. And also, I'm going to keep you updated with the tweaks that are compatible in a list that I'm going to make in the following days. Till the next time, I'm Joe Snow. You are watching FC 365. Till the next time, peace out.